back. Prior coming here, I had heard several rumors on social media that this place is haunted. According to the rumors, on the first day after people moved in, strange things started happening, which forced them to leave this beautiful palace. Strange incidents included faces appearing through windows, children calling out for help, screaming noises in the midnight, furniture's moving by itself. It's been said that even after ages, people are still scared to spend time here post 7 p.m. Upon hearing all these interesting rumors, I was so curious to explore this palace was built by the late Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Hamid Al Qasimi in the year 1985 and it is worth 500 million AD. It is also said that it took approximately 10 years for the completion of this mansion. This is a huge building standing tall over a small hill can be easily located with the spooky landscape and ghostly charm similar to the scenes straight out of a horror movie. We entered the palace expecting the worst. However, nothing jumped out at us. No scary sound, no sudden darkness, no one calling out. Instead, all we could see were brightly colored paintings. The design of this palace is influenced by Moroccan, Islamic, Persian and Indian styles. The chandeliers, marbles, paintings were imported from Belgium and France. This palace also has unique artifacts, antique statues, animal murals, paintings imported from several countries. This is a four-story building and right now we are on the second floor of this palace. You can find 35 abandoned rooms with artwork, mu murals, furnitures. However, while inquired regarding the kitchen, the tour guide informed us that kitchen is under maintenance. All rooms looked more or less similar. You can easily get lost here. So it is advisable to go to this palace with a tour guide or you might lose your way. Each floor of this palace has beautiful paintings, intricate carvings done using plaster of Paris uh, or paintings on tiles or marbles. They are very beautiful indeed. Such intricate and beautiful uh, artwork using POP. These are from India, Morocco, Persia and Iran.
this deer pictures were quite special as per the information given by our tour guide the deer eyes have the ability to follow you wherever you stand in the vicinity similar to that of the great mona lisa painting i did not find this mansion to be haunted spooky or scary but yes i did find some kind of negative energy here some architectural flaws I also spotted a lamp with the Lord Krishna painting on it. Each floor has huge balconies and the panoramic view is just outstanding. Now moving on to the third floor of this palace. This floor welcomes you with a glass dome pyramid roof through which natural sunlight illuminates the floor. You can find lot of mirror motif based paintings on this floor. For those interested in the history of this palace can go through this. The balcony view from each floor is mind blowing. The hill that you see there is Jabal Jais.
Now let's take a look at the last floor of this palace. They do have lifts but we prefer taking the stairs. This room is also beautiful just like the other floors with full of colorful tiles, marbles, beautiful ceilings and lot of paintings. The main highlight of this last floor or the fourth floor of this palace is this ceiling filled with zodiac signs. Beautiful view of the Rasul Khema city through the windows. Let's now go to the balcony and see the sunset views from the last floor of this palace. The panoramic view that you get from the rooftop of this palace is mind-blowing. You also get a good glimpse of the entire city of Rasul Khema. You can also catch sunset from here. The mountain that you see right now is Jabal Jais. You can also have a glimpse of Sheikha Fatima's palace from here. Towards the left, you can also get a glimpse of Rasul Khema's Prime Minister's bungalow. So that's a bird's eye view of Rasul Khema from this hilltop palace. We preferred using the stairs. Now we are going down to the basement that is the first floor of this palace. So this is how the parking lot or the first floor looks like. Tickets are priced at 75 dirhams for individuals or if you're going in a group or as a family then it is 50 dirhams per person. This includes a tour guide. The entry fee is quite expensive, uh, not worth the amount paid for. The palace is currently open to visitors all days, 9 am to 7 pm. 
Our tour guide also informed us that this palace will be converted to a hotel in future, carrying out adventure horror adventure activities with restaurants and cafes. So visit the palace of mystery before carrying out this large development work. Tanvi is quite disappointed because she was not able to find a real ghost here. She is very upset and upset basically. <laughs> we reached here at around 5 o'clock in the evening and we spent approximately 2 hours so we could see the palace in the daylight and uh, during sunset as well. So here we are wishing you all a very happy Halloween. We hope you like this video. If you did, please do like our video. Please do support us by subscribing to our channel. Stay healthy. Stay happy. Much love from Anu and Tanu. See you in the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.